Hello all, in this video what I would like to do is uh, touch on the concept of temperature of light. Temperature of light is really important. I touched on it in a previous video. Um, really it's, it's, it's important to give your um, paintings a uniformity uh, and some visual interest. Oftentimes you see in a painting, if we just look at these uh, three columns of spheres, so I have value listed here, warm light listed here, cool light here. Oftentimes what I see in work is uh, this, the, right in the value column. What I mean by that is uh, a value painter is somebody that takes a um, value, and let me create a new layer here. I've got my soft airbrush, and what we'll do is we'll just lighten this a little bit, and we will give the highlight uh, to that, and we will do the same thing to this sphere and we'll do the same thing to this sphere. Um, just tinting uh, the hue uh, that are the spheres. Uh, and so let's say this is a group of people. Um, a guy in a red shirt, a gal in a blue shirt, and a, a guy in a yellow shirt. So what's going to happen is this person looks like they're hit with a warm light because I'm only dealing with the tint of that particular color, the value. This person looks like they're hit with a cool light, and this person also looks like they're hit with a warm light. Um, and so this is what I mean by a value painter. There's no uniformity in the temperature of light. So oftentimes what I do is I'll put a little light source up here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and create another new layer, and I'm going to pick this light right here. Now that's a warm light, so if I dust this with a warm light and I dust this with a warm light and I do the same thing there drop that down to about 70 percent or so and now look we have a warm light hitting a warm object a warm light hitting a cool object and a uh, warm light hitting another warm object but a different hue and the same thing we can do with a cool light so this is what I mean by temperature of light so now all of a sudden these you can see the difference between the warm light and the cool light hitting uh, the same hue uh, sphere. So this becomes really, really important in developing paintings. And if I could show you an example here of uh, a family, um, the temperature of light is uniform. So this green coat feels like it's hit with a warm jacket. This tan jacket feels like it's being hit uh, with a warm light. So overall, each one of these hues feels like it's hit with the same temperature. And that becomes really important. And kind of the fun thing that you can do is just go in and color pick. Look at what the light looks like there, as opposed to there, as opposed to there, okay? Um, so we have a cool light, we have a warm light. Look at how the hue changes a bit. And then we have uh, that uh, value basically it's it's cool because it remains into that um, that uh, cool hue so what I'd like to encourage you to do is as you're painting maybe throw a little bit of a, a temperature on a separate layer so you can just color pick the dot as you're moving through uh, your high lighted areas hope you enjoyed this